Hello! In this video, I'm going to give you five tips to help you get better at Super Mario 35 and hopefully increase your win rate. Uh, so let's get into them. The first tip may seem obvious, and it is don't jump in holes. But uh, the important thing about that is that holes instantly kill you. And uh, normally you can keep yourself big throughout the rest of the levels. So they are one of the biggest hazards out there. They can, they can ruin your entire run. Uh, go slower around them than, than you would anything else, and avoid levels with lots of holes. Uh, 1-3 and 2-4 in particular are, are good examples of levels that are early on uh, that have lots of holes or big holes in them that are worth avoiding if you can uh, not go there and instead choose, for example, a different warp pipe. Um, <clears throat> uh, tip number two is have enough coins to always stay big. And that's why holes are dangerous. It's because you can do this. You can collect uh, lots of coins and stay big or stay big plus fire. Um, you can stockpile coins early. And if you're near the 400 second max, uh, also just hanging out and collecting coins, hitting those coin blocks that give you multiples seems like a waste of time, but in the long run, it keeps you safe. Um, if you do get small, find a safe place to stand and run the power up roulette until you get big again. Uh, having 60 coins is pretty safe because POW doesn't uh, really get you safety. It just clears the screen. It's, it's easily the worst um, power up from the power up roulette. Um, so sometimes you might have to cycle through a couple of POWs before you get to something that'll actually keep you safe for a while. Um, tip number three, uh, chain jumps on enemies if you can. Uh, it's tempting to use firepower all the time, um, but firepower only gives you one second per enemy that you kill, whereas jumping starts at two seconds, and if you jump on multiple enemies at a time or jump on enemy after enemy without touching the ground, uh, you'll get more and more seconds per hit. So you'll start at two, then three, then four, then five, and, until you're potentially getting um, 10 or more seconds. And um, the, uh, the same holds for when you have this star or are kicking a shell, if you can line up a whole lot of enemies all at once, you can get a bigger return on your rate. Um, only use firepower from the fire flower uh, when you are in tight quarters and can't jump on the enemies, or if you're running and can't stop. Tip number four uh, is that one-ups, extra fire flowers, and the top of the flagpole are all worthwhile. Um, one-ups give you 20 coins uh, which is a full roulette spin. Uh, extra fire flowers give you 15 extra seconds, and so does the top of the flagpole. Uh, in fact, exiting any level gives you uh, time, which brings us to tip number five. Um, if you're in a level without many enemies that you can kill, like a water level when you don't have a fire flower, you can't kill anything in that level if you don't have a fire flower, um, or a flying cheap cheap level where they're popping up from below, uh, or castles in general, because castles have lots of fire bars and potaboos, which are hard to kill. Um, <clears throat> rush everywhere it is safe to rush. Don't rush around holes, as, as mentioned before, uh, but do rush uh, everywhere else. You want to get the flagpole or axe or warp pipe will help you recoup some of that lost time uh, that comes from not having many enemies to kill. As an extra bonus tip, uh, here are a couple of places where there are extra lives hidden. Uh, here's a spot in 1-1 that has a hidden extra life, which is 20 coins. Here's a spot in 1-2 that gives you an extra life. And here's a spot in 2-1. I hope that helps you improve your gameplay in Super Mario 35. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.